There's like 10 of them right now. You've probably seen them on social media. Videos going viral of driverless taxis in San Francisco causing traffic jams. This is what our country's come to. <laughs> and as the frustrations grow, the oversight seems to be on its own jerky ride. Just a week and a half ago, California regulators voted to allow two companies, Waymo and Cruise, to start offering 24-7 autonomous taxi service. But over the weekend, California's DMV demanded that Cruise cut its operating fleet in half while they investigate recent crashes. Walking down the streets of San Francisco, you almost can't miss these driverless robo-taxis. And even though the city by the bay is a famously tolerant place, these newcomers are getting a pretty wide range of reactions. I think it, the technology is amazing. It feels like we were, we're living with the Jetsons. <laughs> I think it's not safe, despite them saying it is safe. I think it's going just one step too far. Look at this Driving the debate, regular snafus. There's like one, two, three, four cruise cars blocking. No one can get through. Just one day after California approved the expanded use of driverless cars, nearly a dozen robo-taxis froze, creating a traffic jam. And I looked and there were no drivers in them. Then, a New York Times report of one getting stuck in wet cement. Look at these guys. And separately, a cruise taxi collided with a fire truck last week, preventing it from responding to a fire, according to NBC Bay Area. San Francisco's fire chief previously telling NBC News the company's helpline just doesn't cut it in an emergency situation. Like, we don't have time to call a 1-800 number when we are trying to get to an incident to do our job. It's impacting public safety, and my concern is that it's going to have dire consequences at some point. Those concerns have prompted activists to fight back, using traffic cones to confuse the vehicle's sensors. Cruise is pushing back on safety criticisms, saying, quote, Cruise's safety record is strong and we're proud of it. More than three million driverless miles in San Francisco without a single fatality or life-threatening injury. They added that they continue to make improvements. Waymo, the other self-driving taxi company owned by Google's Alphabet, did not respond to our request for comment, but has also defended its safety record. Across the whole country last year, there were 1.35 deaths per 100 million miles driven by humans, according to the federal government. The robo-taxis here still still have a lot of driving to do just to make a fair comparison. I've been in several myself as a resident of the area. The rides got me from point A to point B every time and were relatively uneventful, which isn't always the case. Reports that some people are having sex in the robo-taxis with no driver around to stop them, adding to the intrigue for locals in the city. It's cheaper than a hotel room, but a little cramped. You know, we're very inventive when it comes to illegal sexual activity in this town. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.